We now come to Shadow Minister Catherine Moss. Yeah. Mr Speaker, and I would like to pray, pay tribute firstly to the uh, honourable and gallant member for Barnsley Central for his determination to secure this important debate today. I think um, approaching your office on a regular basis all week, um, and uh, it's such an important topic that he's brought to the House today, because what's happening is an absolute tragedy after 20 years of Western intervention and the sacrifice of so many brave men and women to help build a better life for the people of Afghanistan. The Taliban's barbaric and disgraceful rule and warped interpretation of Islam has culminated in a near complete ban on the participation of women in public life. Not only have schools and universities been closed for women, despite earlier promises of a Taliban 2.0, prominent Afghan women like the former MP Murshal Abnabizadia face violence and murder simply for being women. More worryingly, in a country facing severe humanitarian hardship, Women aid workers have now been banned from operation in a move which has effectively stopped the vitally important work these agencies do to keep alive millions of poor women and children in Afghanistan, particularly in rural areas. I appreciate the Minister's response to my written questions on this pressing matter and the confirmation that Ministers have raised the matter with the United Nations Secretary-General and his Deputy, and I recognise limited but vital movement by the Taliban in allowing the resumption of health-related activities, but the people of Af Afghanistan simply cannot wait for further small concessions. So could I ask three specifics of the minister? Firstly, whether there are ongoing discussions taking place with countries which have a working relationship with the Taliban, for example, Pakistan and China. Number two, whether he will commit to staying in dialogue and working closely with NGOs who are doing valuable work on the ground. And thirdly, crucially, what progress is the government making on the Afghan resettlement scheme specifically for former British Council workers as per the member for Billericay's uh, request today? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well I thank uh, very much the Honourable Lady for her uh, comments. Um, as she rightly says, this is not just about the violation of the rights of women. It's also that women are absolutely critical to the delivery of life-saving humanitarian support. In respect to her three questions, um, the answer to the first two is yes, ongoing discussions with NGOs are, are taking place. There is a continuing dialogue, and there's also a continuing dialogue on a very, very regular basis with all our partners and like-minded countries and with nations in the region to make sure that we present a united front uh, to try and improve this dreadful situation. And on her, her third question, there will be a debate in Westminster Hall uh, later today, where I hope to cheer up my honourable friend. <laughs>